What's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome back to my Legend of Dragoon playthrough. We are on part number 14 right now and guys I am so god damn mad. It's not even funny. I am so mad right now. So first things first, this is not a live commentary. This is recorded after I recorded the video because guess what? The Algato decided to fucking screw me once again and the commentary did not record so i'm recording this after the fact and honestly i i can't even describe how mad i am it's like this video oh my god like this is this is the one video of dragoon where things really hit me it was it was intense i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go over you know what happened in case anybody is like me and they've never played or seen dragoon before but those of you who have played Dragoon and those of you who know what happens in this part of the game, oh my god, that that hit me, guys. It hit me so bad. I was I was not expecting that. Like just Oh no, even just thinking about it, like I was I was seriously not expecting that whatsoever. Oh man, like even even now just talking about it after the fact, you know, it's like I mean, I've, I only got done recording the video about 10, 15 minutes ago. So, the situation at hand, you know, it was within the last hour. But even then, it's it's still, it's like an emotional roller coaster. I was, I was not expecting that. Because so many games from back then, just, it wasn't happening. You know, like, what happened in this game that I can think of only ever happened in one other game. And that was Final Fantasy VII. So this completely caught me by surprise. And then the big reveal of the mask, like the cloaked guy. Oh my god, there was so much going on in this video. So much going on. It's it's the one video that I am so, so gutted that you could not get my live reaction to. But I tell you what, I'm I'm getting so mad with Algato over this now. Because this is multiple times now where the Algato has actually just completely and utterly crashed out on the commentary. Whereas normally, you know, it's like horrible static or just like horribly distorted. This time, it didn't even goddamn record it. So, you know, I mean, it it is what it is. The only thing I can really do is apologize to you guys. Um, but what I'm going to start doing from now on is I will record it with the Elgato, but I'll also be recording with OBS, you know, as like um, a backup just in case that anything like this ever happens. You know, we're not going to run into having no commentary at all. But one of the other things I'm going to start doing as well is using two save slots in Dragoon. The reason for that being, uh, well, at the end of this video, I save over my save slot before I knew the commentary was messed up. Which means, well, unfortunately, I couldn't even go back to do it because I was only using the one save slot. So, hopefully now we're using two different programs to record at the same time and having multiple save slots. We should never, ever run into this issue again. Hopefully. Like, I can't think of any way that we could get another issue like this with the precautions that I'm going to be putting into place from now on. I'm just, I tell you what though guys, I am getting so, so mad with the Elgato. Every update Elgato bring out, it just, it makes things worse and worse and worse. It's like, I don't know whether it's the card I'm using or the software. I, I don't know where the problem lies, but it is getting worse and worse and worse. So I need to, I need to look into that and try and fix it. But, you know, I mean, it, at the end of the day, it is what it is. But I think one of the um, one of the big things I should touch on now is something that was originally at the very start of the um, you know the video I recorded that didn't record the commentary, uh, which is you know in the last Legend of Dragoon, so part thirteen, uh, we did start talking about how you know unprofitable the Dragoon series is, uh, which you know is never a nice thing to talk about. It, it's never ever a nice thing to talk about that but sometimes you know you do sort of you do sort of just have to mention it and i know in the last video like so so many of you were actually really understanding you know it's like you you completely understood the fact that yes this is a business and all that you don't mind if it goes slowly yada 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 you know it's like there, there was so much support there that i was actually quite a little overwhelmed you know i was, I was quite overwhelmed by it's like um one of the big solutions that a surprise 
surprising amount of people actually brought up and suggested was actually why don't I just make it a Patreon series? But here's the thing, guys. I will I will not be making Legend of Dragoon a Patreon only series because not everybody can afford to support on Patreon. And if they're enjoying the series, I don't want to take it away from them, you know? So what I think we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be sort of going the the middle route with what a lot of you guys suggested. And that we will be using Patreon going forward but it will also stay as a youtube series so i'm gonna use this time now to sort of just break everything down for you guys so at the moment legend of dragoon is done on a weekly basis it's done in my downtime on a monday or a tuesday uh, because obviously those are the days i'm not streaming on and typically the days that uh, i try and spend time with family uh, so that's why it's it's you know done in my downtime on a Monday or a Tuesday, which means there's typically four videos of Dragoon a month. So what I'm going to start doing now is uh, Patreons are going to get an extra video each week. So that means there's going to be eight Legend of Dragoon videos a month. Uh, but again, like there's only going to be four a month on YouTube. There'll be eight a month on Patreon. If we do get enough Patreons though, then it will go to Daily Dragoon videos on Patreon with free videos a week on YouTube. And of course, you know, because of this, Patreons will always see Legend of Dragoon videos way before YouTube. Now, typically I'm hoping for like, you know, a, a, a week's difference um, early on, but obviously as time goes on, uh, Patreon is going to be getting further and further ahead on YouTube. This is just to sort of, you know, like try and combat how um, unprofitable Dragoon is with how much you guys want to see it, you know? It's like, with how many comments I actually saw uh, in the last video of people actually recommending me to use Patreon for it. Uh, you know, I mean, even just, even a pound a month from you guys, it's like, that would more than get us to enough for, you know, a weekly, uh, well, a daily series for it. Because, as I say, the last video, it's on, like, I think it's about 3,000 views now. It's on about 300 comments, about 600 likes, I think. Maybe maybe those numbers are higher than than what they actually are. Um, but I know we're, I know the support for Legend of Dragoon has been overwhelming. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's like, if you guys... If this is something you guys want, where you want to help support me with the, the channel and that, and you want to get way more Dragoon content... Um, I'm gonna have my Patreon linked at the uh, the top of the description, so you guys can feel free to you know head on over there and see if uh, there's any uh, nice little rewards that you guys want. But uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully there is uh, enough support that we can get more Dragoon videos each month. Um, obviously, you know it is gonna be a little hit or miss at the start with. Uh, you know, like how many there are and things like that. Uh, but as I say, you know, at the very least, Patreons are going to get double the amount of content as um, as YouTube gets. And of course, they're going to be getting it way earlier as well. Um, I haven't quite decided when the next Dragoon video is going to be, um, but I think I should have time on Thursday to record one for Patreon. So Thursday, we'll get part 15 for Patreon. And then we'll have um, part 15 going live on YouTube on, you know, Monday or Tuesday. Uh, and then we'll also have part 16 on Monday or Tuesday for Patreon. And then again, uh, maybe another one on the Thursday. Uh, and then we'll sort of, you know, we'll sort of just go from there. But I am thinking sort of maybe a Monday and Thursday or a Tuesday and Thursday release for Patreon. And then... You know, either a Monday or a Tuesday release for uh, for YouTube, but obviously, you know, things will things will change depending on um, how many people want to sign up for Patreon, and uh, yeah, well, well, it's going to be one of those things that you know will have to be uh, will have to be talked about, I think. But if this actually works, this is going to open up a lot of a lot of directions we can go for older content that won't be profitable on the side of YouTube, you know? Uh, I think one of the things I might start doing is on Patreon, we'll start doing, you know, polls and that for what games people really, really, really want me to play. You know, ones that typically wouldn't do very well on YouTube. 
And then if the support is there for those games, then we can do the same thing, you know? We could move over to having daily releases there on Patreon and maybe like one release a week on YouTube or, you know, if the support's there like I'm expecting it to be for Dragoon, then we could even move to daily content on Patreon for those games as well. But we're getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Um, it is going to be something we do have to, to look at moving forward. But uh, yeah, it's like... Uh, I know some of you guys didn't actually know I have Patreon. Uh, it has been buried down in the uh, the video descriptions. Like I've never really plugged it or anything like that. Cause, I mean, I don't know. I've never I've never felt well. How should I put this? I've never felt comfortable plugging Patreon. If that makes sense. I, I don't know what it is. You know, I just I've never really felt comfortable plugging it. Um, but judging by the comments in the last video, it seems like more like more and more people um, are okay with the patreon model to help support creators so you know i mean it, it's there you know like it'll be at the top of the description if you guys want to help support and um, we can then start doing a whole bunch of older content as well and of course you know you guys do get some uh, some sweet little rewards from that as well and of course then there are like a bunch of like uh, cumulative rewards as well but I want to know what you guys think about the Patreon rewards as well. Like, do you guys like them? Do you not like them? Do you think they should be different? Do you think any should be changed, you know? Patreon is still rather new to me myself. Um, so me and, like, a good friend of mine, Withered, anyone who, like, frequents the streams or is in the Discord know how much me and Withered talk about these things. Uh, we went through the goals a while ago and we came up with these ones. So we've never really spoke to the community about them. Uh, so I'll I'll use this chance, you know, it's like I want you guys to let me know what you think of all the stuff on Patreon And let me know if you think anything should be changed or anything like that Because uh, this is one of those one of those really really big things guys that The feedback on would be Absolutely immense, you know the feedback would be absolutely insane Regarding this because it's gonna help me moving forward. It's gonna help me make changes that you know You guys are gonna enjoy even more which, at the end of the day, is what everything's about. Like, I make content for you guys to enjoy. Obviously, you know, with YouTube being a business, it does have to be in limitations. You know, that's why Dragoon isn't a daily series right now. But it is going to be something we uh, we look at moving forward. But yeah, I will, I will just completely leave that one up to you guys anyway. You know, the Patreon is linked down in the description. Just let me know what you think of the rewards and the goals and that, and we will go from there on Dragoon with another video going live on Patreon on Thursday. With that said though, everybody, I'm going to end this commentary here. I don't want to keep rattling and rattling on for like another half an hour because I think it's just going to get immensely boring because I don't really have anything else to talk about at this point other than other than what actually happened in this video, I still can't get over it. I still can't get over it, and I'm still so mad that you guys are not going to be able to hear my live reaction to it. It was, it was probably the best commentary I've recorded for Legend of Dragoon so far. So, um, I'm a little gutted on that. I am definitely, well, I'm more than a little gutted, to be fair. But, as I say, there shouldn't be any more issues like this, because I'm going to be taking so many precautions now. It's unreal. We're going to be recording two different sets of commentary and video, so if one of them ever messes up, we've always got a spare. And I'm going to be keeping multiple saves as well, just to, you know, just in case. But though, guys, I'm going to end the video now. Uh, well, I'm going to end the commentary now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as I say, you know, please be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of the whole Patreon thing and all that. The feedback here is going to be super, super important and really, really appreciated, guys. But if you do enjoy the video, please be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you are new to the channel, then make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. With that said though, everybody, thank you so, so much for watching. I am sorry again about the uh, the no live commentary, but it will be fixed moving forward. And of course, I shall see you all later. Now enjoy the rest of the video.
Rodriguez! Attack! Beat this!
Wow. Wow. 